Hey, welcome back to another episode of Instagram Podcast. I'm your host, Juan, as always. My co-host is here with me. Hey, Trip. Hey! How's it going, man? It's pretty swell. Uh, it's been a nice long day after a beautiful weekend of nothing, and I'm feeling good. Cool, man. All that being said, shut your face. We just had a chill Shut your hang. face. We hung. Because this week we're talking about live action garbage. Oh, gosh. Are we? Is that what we're doing? Yeah, I think so. That's what I'm planning on talking about. I mean, I guess I could do could it. You, could you manage to talk about like, some live action garbage? For you, I think I can. Dope. Okay, cool. Hey, man. What have you been up to? Uh, well, uh, it's my first, I guess my first day of summer vacation, Whoa. technically. Yeah. So you did finals? Uh, yeah, I got finals out of the way. I mean, nice. they're, they're pretty simple for the most part. A lot of them were just finishing projects. And then for my ceramics final, which was just to clean the studios. Yeah. Um, yeah. I cut my finger. <laughs> I, cut, I cut my pinky. <sighs> Um, which is amazing because all semester I didn't cut myself once, which is there's plenty of opportunities to cut yourself yeah. when you're in a like an art studio. Didn't do it. Cleaning the fucking some bullshit. My hand slipped while I was sponging some stuff and I got cut and I like, went up the nail and it was like bleeding. Yeah. And I go to the yo. teacher and I was like, yo, man, I'm bleeding. He goes like, hey, man, that sucks. Puts I didn't realize we were going to start with a horror story. Yeah. He puts a bandaid on me. Yeah. Then he goes, all right, back at, back to it. <laughs> Send me back to go cleaning. So, yeah, that was my... Uh, that was my last final, technically. Uh, let's see what else I did. Saturday, I had a, had a BBQ, a little barbecue. Heck yeah. With some um, fellow classmates. Uh, we had a good time. We I played a game. It's essentially Mexican bingo. Have you ever heard of it? Yeah, I have. Yeah, have you? Have you played yeah. it? I, I got invited to do it once. Okay. And I was like, I don't fucking like these people enough. Oh, cool. okay. I was going to ask who invited you, but then you said that. I was like, never mind. We're not going to talk about that. <laughs> I don't even remember who, but I remember being invited and being like, it's not worth it. No, the company not. is not worth it. Oh, nice. No, so, uh, so I brought it along because I bought it a while back. I was planning on pay- playing it uh-huh. on the Cinco de Mayo, but like it just never happened. What's the name of it? It's like lottery. La or Loteria. Something? Yeah. Yeah. Um, which just means the lottery, right? Yeah. But it's essentially bingo. Um, so, so like at the barbecue, people hanging out. We're all, you know, animation majors, game development majors. Yeah. A bunch like of fucking nerds. A bunch of nerds. So none of, yeah. us, none of us brought like a Frisbee or a football you know, like, <laughs> that you would think like, normally yeah, like, yeah. like bolo or uh fucking cornhole that you'd bring into barbecue right so just a bunch of us a bunch of nerds eating food and talking about i mean listening to music and stuff but then um some people left me ended up playing um loteria and we like usually when mexicans play it they play it for money like my grandma my grandma comes when we were younger we used to play it all the time she would invite like my grandma on my on my um my dad's side would come over uh when she would come and visit us we would play and then it was so big the game was so important we would invite like members of my mom's family, even though she doesn't really like members of my mom's family. Okay. Just yeah. to play because when it's you, a big fucking deal. Yeah. And you play, you play for money and it's not like a lot of money. Like a game would be like, all right, we're playing a game for a quarter like to play the, yeah. the, for every card yeah. you had, you'd put a quarter in. So some people play with two, three cards, 75 cents. I would, as a kid, I'd be like, oh, my parents gave me three bucks. So cool. It means I can play up to three bucks worth of games or whatever. Yeah. And then the last game would always be like, okay, this game's a dollar guys. And, uh, you know, we'd play for a dollar. <laughs> And uh, there's different ways to play it. So, like, in bingo, you know, you play for bingo. Sometimes you play, like, uh, like blackout or, Mm -hmm. like, four corners or some shit like that. All different kinds of games. So, since, you know, we're all college students, a lot of them are broke and don't really have money. Sure. (laughs) You know, so it's like, we couldn't really play for money, so we made it a drinking game. So, the way we played it was, uh, we we would have one card per person, right? And um, you would play uh, the three games. You'd play for bingo, four corners, and blackout. Right on. And uh, if you won one, that means you were safe. And then you, you could just stop playing. But if you're a real asshole, you could win one and then continue to play. Uh-huh. And then win four corners and have someone else not win it. And then even win blackout and have, you know, win all three games and have some have, have to have everybody else drink. Can I take a wild guess? Yeah. Were you an asshole? No. I, tr- oh, I tried to be and I didn't win. Um, I mean, oh, I was okay. able to, to win. So you wanted to be one. Oh, yeah. Okay, really good. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Yeah, really bad. I really want to be an asshole. Um, I managed to... <laughs> The one game where I was close to being an asshole, I, I got beat out by a second. I got beat out by one card, so then I was like, fuck, now I can only play to save myself. What son of a gun did that to you? I don't know who it was. Probably Bryce or whatever. Ah, oh, Fucking Bryce. Bryce got you? Bryce got you. You know, out of all the people that I, I didn't like, know at that party, Bryce. I do, I do, like, the I do that... like Bryce the least, so it was pretty disappointing. No, <laughs> the, the only friend that was an asshole was a friend, a friend of ours named Josh, yeah. who yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. He, he won bingo, and then he proceeded to then win... Uh, like four corners. I was like, this what fucking piece dick. of shit. Everybody was so mad at him. Um, That's so funny. But we all though. tried. To, we all tried to do it. Um, the funny thing is that, uh, I mean, I lost twice. And um, so I took two shots. Yeah. But a yeah. homie of my name, Kyle, uh, lost right. every round. And he was just 
plastered by the end of the day. Goodbye, Kyle. Oh, it was, he was, he was, way, he's a big guy too. Uh-huh. So the amount of alcohol he drank was like amazing. And, uh, to the point where like we were done playing the game. And so like we packed it away because we played a bunch. And then, uh, I was talking, I was like, just talking and say, Hey Bryce, do you want to play the game you brought? He brought like another card game and it was super late. So, and I was just kind of like throwing it out there, hoping he'd say no. Cause I was really tired. And then Kyle just hears game and he goes, yeah, guys, one more round. I'm feeling oh, it. And I was like, shit. hey, man, that game is sailed. We are done with that game. Yeah. No more of that game. We drank too much. We did drink a lot. Um, I successfully didn't drink that much. Here's one thing I will say about the love video, if you ever play. There is one card I'm not super proud of. Yeah. So the game is really old. It's like from way back in the day. Like it's, right. older, it's older than me. It's older than my grandparents and my grandparents' grandparents. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, back then people were more... Uh, openly racist, I guess. Okay. So some of the cards right. are pretty wacky. Like some cards are like, um, like the hand. It's like a like a el mano, which is you know a hand. Yeah. And other ones are like you know the the um, cactus plant or whatever. Okay. And there's like other things like you know the skull and crossbones. You know el diablo. Uh-huh. You know the woman. And I've then noticed these. Yeah, and then there's one where it's like um, the dandy, which. Um, it's just like a really dapper guy or whatever. Uh-huh. But my, but every time when we were younger, like uh, my grandma would like laugh when she chuckled because like the dandy is also like another word for like a yeah, gay guy gay or whatever. Guy, yeah. Um, and again, super antiquated game. Uh-huh. Uh, there's also a card called El Borracho, which is the drunk man. So whenever we would play, my grandma would always call it and she would say um, uh, El Tio Ramon, which is my uncle Raymond or whatever. But <laughs> Raymond wasn't like her son it was like on my mom's side so she was te- like Dude, talking shit about damn. my uncle on my mom's side my oh. grandma my grandma's a heartless bitch she got <laughs> fucking fighting words yeah so her. i mean it was it, it was funny but then we, you know we would all laugh and then we would go Oh, that's, that's super sad <laughs> that's, that's kind of fucked up dude. He, does, he has a problem um the, the card i'm talking about is um it's a card of a uh it's a depicted as a like an african-american man <laughs> in like a little like a blue suit you know and like a cane and a, like corn pipe hat or whatever uh-huh and it's just, the card is called El Negrito, which is like Spanish for like little black guy. Uh huh. Um, which again, it's not like it's the N word. It's, it is really insensitive, I guess. Uh, but you know, it, it's part of the game. So whenever it would come up, I'd feel kind of bad because they're like, oh, I'd be like the, you know, it's the African American or the black guy or whatever. And then other people would read the card and they'd just hold the card up and they'd go, the racially insensitive card. And I'd be like, oh, damn it. I feel they fucking got you again. I dude. know. I, can, I can't win. I, I just want to, <laughs> I want to check up here. How many black people were at this party? Not a single one. Okay, I just had to make sure because I, mean, I wanted to hear like a freak out story. No, no, no. There wasn't a single. Like, what the fuck is this shit? Um, I mean, there are people who are black in our major. Yeah, um, there aren't a lot. I can probably count them all in my hands or uh-huh. whatever. You know, but uh, the you know, I, I, now I feel bad. Like, way to go, Kyle! They didn't invite any black people to the party. What a racist! Listen, man, all I'm saying is I don't invite any black people to my parties. Oh, very true. Is that because you only know one black guy? Well, how many parties have I thrown? Oh, that first was, off. That's very good. <laughs> you should throw parties. You throw a pretty bomb party. Listen, man, I am a manager mm-hmm. at an apartment complex. You should throw a party. And I have to set examples for people. Fuck yeah, throw a rager. Be like, this is yeah. this is the quality of party you're going to throw up in this bitch. If you can't throw this level of party, you can't live here. That's what you should do. Yeah. Like, hey, bro, can you hang? You just chug a beer and smash it on your head. <sighs> Um, anyways, so that was my Saturday. Uh, Sunday was super yeah. chill. I watched all of uh, one of the shows that we're talking about today. Nice. And today was just kind of a, you know a lazy day, and um, I'm planning on starting to just do some stuff over the summer, like work on some projects. But mm-hmm. yeah, it's been pretty cool. I'm I'm excited to, that I can finally just like relax and not have to worry about some sort of deadline. And you know, because next That's semester, so nice. I'll have to start working about worried about other deadlines. Yeah. But for right now, I'm just like cool. Just Dude, time to hang. Yeah, time right, to hang. First off, I want to point out you got a dope fucking oh, yeah. shirt you have a sick shirt on it's darling in the fronks yeah. you got our zero two looking down upon hero mm-hmm. just like doing that little i i don't remember what the shot's from is it's, it from the opening the opening yeah yeah uh fucking wicked where she's like wearing the coat but she's yeah. totally nakes yeah sierra so, got me this mm, i would never buy this for me <laughs> no but it's rad as fuck sierra bought it for it. my uh i think it was for our anniversary i think so she's just like here's a gift i was like oh it's, i think she has you know what i think she has the exact same shirt too because I, I would never buy a matching shirt first, but she's just like, oh, I'll buy Juana's shirt. And then she has the same one. So she can purposely she wear it. She got you. Yeah. Dude, she gets you. Gosh, she's She's too much. a good gift giver. She's a good gift giver. She's a, she's a good dude. She's a good homie. I'll tell you that much. Um, so speaking of Sierra, mm-hmm. 
She tagged me on Facebook yeah. on this stupid fucking meme that it's essentially just like a Russian meme page. I don't know how she even got there, but it just said like tag somebody. And if they don't respond within, it was either one minute or five minutes or something like that. Then they have to buy you Poland. Well, it's expensive. Yeah. So that's pretty much my reaction. I'm like, okay, look, I'm like 13 minutes late right now. I can't afford Poland. So sorry, dude. I just can't do it. My bad. And she's mm-hmm. like, well, like a Polish hot dog from Costco will do. I'm like, all right, let's do it. Let's fucking do it then. Let's do it. It's fine. So then we went and we got a, we got some food at Costco. You don't, have, you don't have a Costco card, do you? I was like, hey, Sarah, you got it. Because uh, Josh has a Costco card, my oh, roommate. Oh, okay. So yeah. you can. I just, that's just interesting because I figured you'd have one. I feel like this is an adult thing to do, you know? It is, but then when you live with somebody else who has yeah, one no, no, and you no, like, share that shit. Like, yeah, exactly. Like I don't have one, but my parents do, so yeah. like, I'll just use theirs. Hey, and so does Sierra. Yeah, so. but, but I, didn't, I didn't know that. Like when you know, yeah. I'm like, wait. Trip doesn't have a Costco card. How are you getting to Costco? Sierra's like, I have a Costco card. I was like, are you fucking kidding me? And I was just like, Dude, damn, girl, look at yeah. you. I'm super impressed right now. Yeah, man. I mean, one of these days I'll get a Costco card, but it's a <laughs> whole matter never, because then I have if to Sierra talk to people and it's like a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And ugh. Plus, they don't they, they don't accept just anybody. No, they yeah. don't. It's only the creme de la creme. Yeah, exactly. And minorities. <laughs> yeah. Fuck. Yeah. <laughs> They sure do. They know. Oh my god! Fucking tortillas in bulk. Sign me up. Um, <laughs> Actually, that's, I didn't even fucking think for like a second. But they have like lots of good shit. Yeah, my uh, my cousins. Fucking when we were younger, they would they had a, one of them had a joke and it was super mean. And I don't understand why he's mean because I didn't know what Costco was at the time. But mm-hmm. he was like, "Hey Juan, hey Juan, like, what do you want?" He goes like, "What do Rigo and Costco have in common?" And I was just like, I don't know. And then he goes like, they sell everything in bulk. And I remember him laughing his ass off. And as an adult, like, you know, now I'm just like, yeah, that joke doesn't really make any sense. That's not a very good joke. What a shit joke. And I guess the joke was that, you know, my cousin Rigo was kind of fat. Oh. (laughs) Right? Isn't that a bad joke, though? So your cousin is selling himself himself in bulk, right? Does that that not make sense? Yeah. No, I didn't say right, that with the I'm brightest bunch. Fire your husband, cuz husband. Yeah, you got him. You fucking nailed it. I apparently I have marriage on the mind right now. <laughs> Do you? Yeah, man. Because we've been talking about darling. Oh uh, yeah, that's true. Latest episode deals with some marriage stuff, some weddings. Yeah. Uh, these kids who don't know what it is are kind of like figuring it out on yeah. their own. Fuck, man, I am really yeah. digging darling. That was the most recent episode. Right? It was super uh-huh. like, so. For me, for what's good, I guess I've caught up with anime. Yeah, a lot of you anime. Heck of have. I've caught up with a bunch of it. I'm not with all of it. I'm still behind on some things, but I've caught that's up with, fine. You're allowed with Darling, to. right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, that episode where they're getting married, they're learning about what a wedding is. They fucking they quickly brush through what sex is. They fucking uh, they did some good stuff. I think that they handled these really complex issues that yeah. other shows do not do well. Uh, they handled them in such a mature, quick fashion uh, that really didn't fuck around with the leader. Well, or, if it, well, I feel like they have to, you know, address these things in a mature fashion because the way they, you know, they, the way they enter their mechs is like all fours and from behind, you know, yeah. so it's like, so it's like, it's there that juxtaposition. Like you can't be too crude with it. Like you're already crude and what, you know, exactly. That's, well, that was the thing that was so cool. It's like, wow, they were really tasteful and yeah. it's trigger for God's no, sake. No, no, that, Who made no, a whole no, no, fucking no, no, no. anime no. about like, that's the A1 pictures of it. The trigger yeah. part is the other part. No, I know. That's the thing. But it, it, trigger has a hand in it yeah they could have been like okay a1 we're trigger yeah yeah you, you kind of know trigger, trigger's like hey man so we just do full penetration a1's like whoa 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 we can <laughs> right, we have to calm yeah, down bring it back bring it back it's like no no you understand we're trigger we got the trigger girls this is how we do it and like no 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 no. let us take care of this we 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 know how to handle this and trigger's like okay i i, I don't trust you but i mean i'm but i'll let you i'll i'll see what you're putting <laughs> well, down we gotta we gotta see how it goes yeah yeah um worked out really well oh, yeah. did a great job with that episode it's such like a new kind of like the course of darling in the Bronx has been like oh man this show might be really interesting mm-hmm. and to like I mean, I don't really get it. Like, it's it's kind of doesn't a, have any direction. Bunch, yeah, it's a bunch of stuff, and it feels like almost mm-hmm. like at points where it's just, oh, it's not really a whole overarching theme, like an overarching story. It's more like these are just kind of episodes that follow each other. Yeah. Um, and then there's like, oh, there's just like these throwaway episodes where it's like they're just kind of fighting stuff. Uh huh. And, and then you're like, oh wait, there's a bigger picture. Yeah, and we we get to see a little bit of that, like episode twelve or thirteen mm-hmm. or something, and it builds more off of that. And you start to see a little bit, little bit. And this last episode was like, oh, I know where we're going. Oh, yeah. And I'm fucking stoked. We're going full Hunger Games, dog. Oh, we're, my God. We're going Divergence at this Oh, bitch. my 
God, um, I'm stoked. It's question. gonna be so Sarah fucking posed cool. a question, and I sure, I like, and, I mean, I, I like questions. Have, I, don't, I don't have like a definite answer, but I'm just kind of. I had an answer that I that I thought was maybe right, but yeah. I don't know. Well, I'm gonna ask you. Um, how old do you think these characters are? Like, um, just like the spectrum of like you know our main characters in Darling the Franks. From what age to what age do you think they're like rolling around? Uh, 14 to 16. Okay. Like the youngest you think is like 14. Uh-huh. And the, who do you think is the youngest? Like in your opinion? Uh, the spunky boy and the spunky chick. Okay. Yeah. That's what I thought. Yeah. I, I was saying there at the youngest, I thought they were 13. Yeah. And sure. at the oldest, I thought Goro might be 17. Yeah. Like, that I totally, I feel that. Like in that range. Um, yeah. Which so is the, mine is yeah. more like tightened. Yeah. Mine's but a like, little, I totally, yeah. I feel you. Mine's yeah. a little broader, but in, in the... Like in Goro, well, how old do you think Zero Two is? Uh, she's she's probably like seventeen. Also, yeah, okay. Um, um, because like they're handlers, we we mm-hmm. quickly saw that they were also what were they called parasites at some point, right? Yeah, yeah. And they were also these kids yeah. that were they didn't know what was going on and they were running the yeah. uh, the max. And when we saw the flashback, I was like, oh, they definitely look like they're also in that similar age. Yeah, yeah. And so when I see them now, I'm like, they had to be like in their mid twenties. Like, yeah, they're like twenties, like maybe pushing thirty, like really early thirties. Yeah. So that's why I'm like. So, like, you know, the idea of the question of sex and, like, all this stuff kind of pops up in Darling on the Frog set, you know, kind of just out of nowhere, right? Because when, because mm-hmm. they're essentially don't know, they've been fed, force fed everything that they know. Yeah. So, um, the way it's brought up is, I feel like it's super organic and, like, uh-huh. it, because of their age, right? Yeah. And Sierra thought maybe they were a little bit younger, but I was like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to give them benefit of the doubt just because of the way, right, they, but right. the way, the way they're posed and the way they're drawn and the way they're like they're designed. I'm like, they might be a little bit older. They're not super mature, but they're definitely not sure. like 10 or 11. You know? Definitely. I think, um, I say this with a lot of hesitance, but this might be like the new generations. Fully Cooley. Okay. It's a good a coming way. of age. Yeah. Yeah. Cause Fully Cooley, uh, back when I was in high school and junior high and stuff, that was uh, probably one of the most prominent animes that deals with those kinds of like coming of age type things mm-hmm. where you, you don't know your place in the world and like you don't know who you are and you kind of just like attach yourself to other people and like develop different uh, ideas and ideals mm-hmm. um, about who you are, who you want to be, what the world is. Or where you're supposed to be. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And I feel like this has done a good job of showing us at first like, oh man, it's just a, like a fun whatever anime mm-hmm. and then getting into like oh, these people don't understand anything. Yeah. They only know what they've been told, which is just like when you're a kid going into adolescence. Oh, yeah. Because you just knew what your parents told you, what your teachers told you, and then you start questioning stuff. You're like, why do I feel different? What's uh-huh. going on here? Yeah. And not even just about sexual things, but about everything. Oh, and yeah. I think that this show's handling it in such a different, unique way. Um, whereas, like shows like Fooly Cooly or Eka 7, it, it's just like characters that are kind of bored with everything. And yeah. they're like man, I just realized school fucking sucks. And like everyone in my life is boring. Everyone just has jobs. I want to do something cool. Yeah. And it's a, it's a very different way of thinking than that. And Mm -hmm. I think that I like this one more where it's like, think for yourself, figure out how to grow, like push yourself. Don't let other people tell you that you can't do these things. You just have to like figure it out on your own in a certain way. Yeah. It's not just sexuality um, or just the topic of sex. It's a bunch of things because it is sexuality because I feel like um, definitely is. Yeah. uh, More recently, one of the characters came out to be like, she has feelings for another girl yeah. and she's a girl. So she's like, what, which they what is handled this? better than like any other anime. I really I've seen. liked that. I was like, Oh, nice. I'm like, she's, she's obviously a lesbian, but doesn't yeah. know what, what it is because she doesn't know what it is. She doesn't know that she's some taboo yeah. necessarily. Yeah. Um, she just knows she has these feelings and she's finally able to share them. Yeah. And the only reason she hasn't up until this point is because other people have shared their feelings about this character yeah. and she feels like she would it's be like overstepping overkill. her bounds. Yeah, so, well, yeah, no. And, and then even like the, the, like the themes of like death or, adulthood because like you know yeah. that younger character sees like he meets an adult for the first time and he's mm-hmm. just like well, he's like super confused as to what's going on it's like who the fuck are you like yeah what's going on here yeah and uh, this is such an <laughs> this episode isn't about darling and the frogs but, but, but i feel like we're at the point mm-hmm. in darling where we're able to start analyzing it and we could like reflect on previous episodes in in a way that we wouldn't have been able to see even just last week no yeah i mean you're right. This episode isn't about Darling, Darling of the Frogs. That being said, Darling of the Frogs is really good. And, and I really like getting, it. Yeah. yeah, that's the thing. Like, I, I went into it like, oh, this is a fun time. And then I'm like, I don't really know how I feel, but I'm still watching it mm-hmm. and I'm enjoying it. But, like, it's not a show that I would go crazy over. Yeah. And now we're at the point where I'm like, yeah, I think people should be watching the show. Solid show. No. So, and, and the thing is, the show also gets 
I guess a bad rap off the bat because of the way things are kind of posed in the beginning. Yeah. You know, the, the whole, like I have a friend who's completely turned off by it just because of the whole mech thing. And I was like, you know, where, the way they load in and like, you know, like, yeah, it's, yeah. It, it is, it is, it is pretty, you know, risque or whatever. But the thing is, you got to understand that it's risque because, <laughs> because we think of it as that way. Yeah. And, and then, but and in, they the, don't but in the context of their world, which, they have no idea what they're doing. They're like, this is just what we do. This and is, that's like a really interesting thing too, yeah. because clearly like as as regular as people who know everything that's going on we're like okay that's dirty and that's kind of fucked up like yeah. if you're somebody who's not trying to watch it to be yeah, like, like oh what man if, yeah what so a filthy hot, mind you, know? you have yeah yeah so it's like oh man that's like kind of weird and fucked up and yeah. it does put me off of it a little bit but then you think like kind of what i was saying about the coming of age type show mm-hmm. as a teenager fucking that's exciting that's stuff that other shows don't have they're not talking about that sexual like positioning (laughs) or whatever inside of the mechs like that's a whole different deal and they're bringing it together with like uh flower kind of analogies and like parasites and whatnot Mm -hmm. and just all of it's like a very different way of thinking of it and then uh yeah i mean we see it as something different um we see it for what it is it's like a very sexual thing yeah and then as soon as you get past that and you realize these kids don't fucking understand what's yeah. happening. They're just like being made to do it. They don't understand what's going on or yeah. why it's all happening. Once you get to that point, it becomes a much more interesting show. It's, it's almost like a super, super like, uh, like meta or like intelligent way to be like, Hey, here's your fucking fan service. You pervs. And it's yeah. just like, but it's not fan service at all. You know? No, it, it's really weird. It, it, the show has very mixed feelings yeah. for me because I'm like the things that they did. I have no problems with it at this point, but initially I was like, Man, exactly. this is fucking crazy sexual. I don't know. Like, like the first episode, like wow, fucking dope, and then like two, three, four episodes, and where it's like, I don't, I don't feel like I should be liking this show. This show yeah. makes me feel weird. I was like I'm and tired now, of these kids fucking each <laughs> other and killing yeah, things robots, at the same yeah. time. Like that's weird. But now, like, what is it? I think it's like 16 or 17 episodes yeah. in or whatever. And now it's like there's so much of it out where it's like. It makes so much sense. Yeah, you know, you it's f- a complex story, and they definitely have a goal in mind for like what kind of a story they want to tell. Mm-hmm. Um, and the characters are so good. Yeah, Goro for life. Goro for life. I'm voting it, dog. Best Dude, boy. Goro is but be- easily best boy. Watch out, Todoroki. Watch out, fucking uh, Ida. Watch out. What's her? What's her? Fake, what's her fake, uh, Coda. <laughs> no, no. What's her? What's her name? Um, <laughs> Wait, you you're throwing a girl into best boy? Yeah, remember last season? Who, oh, so you're bringing her up again? What's her name? Okay, Kino. Kino yeah, fuck Kino. It's all about uh, fucking Goro, in my opinion. Now. Goro's my boy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I feel like we've gushed enough about um. <laughs> drawing in the fronks that yeah, means i mean what other anime are you quickly watching man i've just been watching uh all the things that i've been watching this last like season mm-hmm. uh catching up with black clover and it's interesting because there are a lot of points where i'm like uh the show kind of sucks but i'm i'm still enjoying myself really? there are times where i'm like nah fuck this show it's dumb but i'm already committed to it and at the point that we're at right now I'm I'm having a good time. I want to see more. How many episodes are you in for Black Clover? Twenty something? Thirty thirty something? Or yeah. something? Yeah. It's now, pretty far in. I have so. a buddy who is like super into Black Clover the manga. Yeah. And I've all but fallen. I've heard that it's yeah. done nothing. Like it's done no justice. I've completely to the manga. Fall, I've completely fallen off Black Clover. I just it's just not for me anymore. No, man, but that's this totally homie's cool. so bummed out because he's like, Man, he goes like I really wish they would have done the anime better because he loves mm-hmm. the manga and I'm like yeah man yeah, that, that I've sucks. heard that sometimes that, especially when you come out saying like this show will only have 50 episodes you're like well you know that's for the episode that they have to nail and I don't feel for me that they've nailed them so not at all I'm more curious like at this point it's definitely not a like yeah I'm watching it because you just watch fun. it because you're already in it I'm watching it because I'm in it and I'm also watching it to see what it becomes by the end mm-hmm. because I think it's such a weird thing that like they would put a very finite amount of episodes yeah. and spend so much time fucking around. Yeah. I, I want to see how it ends and if it ends in a graceful way. And I don't think it will, but I want to see what <laughs> but happens. Yeah. You want to see, you yeah. want to see that. Yeah. I feel it. So I'm watching that gun Gale online, the sword art online alternative. Yeah. I'm liking um, that too. I'm having a great time with that. I want to see more. It's been so much fun. Mm-hmm. I think that the whole sword art online type, you know, Oh man, people die in the game. They die for real type thing that they're trying to do with this season. It's not really working for me. Like yeah. I, I get it, whatever, but like it has no extra draw for me. Yeah. It really drew me in once I saw all these other characters and I'm like, I want to see more shit that they do. Yeah. I, feel I was it. having a lot of fun. Uh, with all that stuff and i'm liking hinamatsuri Mm -hmm. a lot it's it's not (laughs) you know there are points where it's a comedy Mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun 
But uh, a couple episodes ago, it was not a comedy. It was just like a sad ass time. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> it I, I was used, weird. I started watching the dub for that show, and yeah. I'm all about it. So I'm going to keep watching the dub. Um, I think it does it. I think it does the like the original justice in my yeah, opinion. Yeah, sure. So it's just easier for me to watch that way. Uh, what did you say? You kept watching Tiramisu, right? Space. I Command. watched a couple new episodes, or not new, but I watched a couple more episodes of that. I've been putting it off for a while because I'm like, I don't really know. Like, I really like the first episode, but I just don't feel like it's gonna. And then it fell off. Normally, when I go into things with low expectations and I'm more like pessimistic about it, like, oh yeah, this is gonna be some more fucking garbage or whatever. That's how I went into it. Normally, I come out being like, that was, oh, that yeah. wasn't garbage. Oh, that was actually yeah. pretty good yeah no instead i went into this like ah, oh, this is gonna be fucking stupid and i was like oh, damn it i didn't laugh i didn't laugh at all well maybe in the next episode and it's just like boobs chick and guess what the joke is she's a girl what, and what i'm like joke? oh what, what had us not laughing at all Oh, fucking Psyche K. <laughs> That's, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, fucking what a bad man, time. Why are you bringing that shit up I again? Remember something like- I feel bad now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. I forgive you. Cool, man. Anything else? Um, so, Well, I mean, the show that everybody's watching right now. Steins Gate? I mean, no, but the, my hero. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I'm watching. I'm also watching I Shield 21, which is like so. Um, that's a way throwback. So I don't, you I don't did know. not tell me about that. Yeah, I'll talk about it later. Right. I'm like, it's a, it's essentially just a, it's a it's like Kuroku's basketball before Kuroku was a thing. Yeah, it's a football show. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty fun. Um, cool. Yeah, I, I watched. I recently watched the newest episode of uh, My Hero. Yeah. Um, oh man. Yeah, that shit wrapped up like the battle from last time, uh-huh. and then quickly set up then what's going to happen next. Yeah. I really like that show. Uh, it's good. When Deku wakes up from like in the hospital bed or whatever, he's mm-hmm. got these big fish eyes oh man i could not handle it it. i fucking love that that being said we also found this really cool figure of deku oh it's gorgeous it's one of the prettiest figures ever seen it looks so great it's also one sixth of his size so it is hella expensive 365 man that's fucking pricey as shit you want to split it and then we'll just do like Uh, one day at your house one day at my house yeah well i'll take the weekends okay so that means i get the weeks yeah fuck you i was fucking trying to play against me i want the weekends (laughs) son of a bitch that way you can take it with ice cream (laughs) And they, no! you, that means you gotta take him to school. <laughs> that sucks. Idiot. Ah, uh, whatever. I'm gonna have him skip school. We're going to the zoo. <sighs> Fuck you. Wow, you got me. You're good. the lame daddy. <sighs> All right, it's fine. <laughs> cool, man. <laughs> um, and then yeah, Steins Gate, which the last episode ended in a way where now shit's pop. Been off, motherfuckers. Nice. I'm, I'm way behind stoked. on that. Yeah, you're, you're gonna have a good that, time. Yeah. I, I'm excited for you to get to that I point. I think that also has a dub. I might watch the dub. <laughs> you should. Yeah. I um. I, I liked the direction it was going for the first four episodes. I was like, okay, well, I mean, you know, it's more character like explanation or whatever. But then I, I started feeling like, oh, I don't know what's going to happen, man. It's not, it's not grabbing me the same way. Episode five did a couple of things where I was like, Oh yeah. Okay. Now I'm getting mm-hmm. it. Episode six. Oh, Oh, hey, put your pants back on. Okay. Well, it was, it was nice. It mm-hmm. was a nice little time. Okay. So I'm loving all that. And I've been playing so much God of War, dude. Oh, I can't. Oh, man. It's like one of the most fun games I've played in a long time. Cool. Uh, everyone should play that game at least once if you own a PlayStation 4. Man, do it all. Like, uh, uh. Do you want to get into the news? Yeah. Cool. Time for the news. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the news. So um, we have a new thing that we have to do. Based on this last piece of news. Well, you know, we've talked about like playing games on stream oh, and stuff. Yeah. Okay, all right. So this new thing, uh, there's going to be an indie video game uh, adaptation. It's the game To the Moon. It's apparently a wildly popular indie game. Okay. Uh, I think it's probably pretty story based. Okay. Uh, from what I could tell from like the picture of uh, the cover or whatever, it's like an old guy like dying in a hospital bed. Sounds like a sounds like a you kind of game. Yeah, anyways, it's getting an anime adaptation. Oh, People are God. so fucking excited about so we it. We have to watch it. Yeah, well, we're going to check that shit out. We'll figure out how it is. You don't have to stick around for all of it, but I have a feeling like I'm going to really enjoy all of it, unless it is just entirely like a text based, like yeah, it, reading. You know, I can't I read. Ah, oh, man. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't mean to make you read. <sighs> okay. 
That's Next, cool. Yeah, I mean, I, I do. We do we have a date on that yet, or is it just got announced? It just got announced that it's getting an adaptation. So old, that's exciting. Is the game newish? Or I mean, it's newish. Yeah. Okay, no, it's not like an old game or whatever. Uh, but people have been super like when you say old game, you mean like within like the last ten years or so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's more recent. Than okay. That. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Like last year, the year before that, or whatever. Like a few years ago. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Cool. Um, Interesting. Yeah. So I'm excited to see what this is going to be, considering that it's. I don't know for sure but i'm pretty sure it wasn't like a japanese game hey man you know fucking if personas taught us anything is that you know you can make a game and make a really shitty anime out of it so yeah so i'm super curious what the fuck this is gonna be that would be crazy it's like undertale the game movie hmm Okay. Uh, anyways um viz media has licensed one punch man 2 <gasps> one punch so Viz is kind of like the distributor for like DVDs and whatnot yeah. in the United States. Um, or they're one of them. Um, so that's kind of cool. I like Viz Media. I yeah. think I might like Funimation more though. Because you should be watching. Ooh, you should be watching. Um, yeah, that's cool. I'm glad because uh, I really like One Punch Man. I can't wait to see the second season. Some pretty rad shit. Mm-hmm. Studio Trigger is hiring on a larger scale for next year. Dude, which... It's a pie, dog. Let's fucking do it. Okay. Fucking, you'll be... What can you be? Uh, Pretty. They're not going to hire you for being pretty. Hmm. You're, you're Cal- ugly. You're a California 10, but you're in Japan, you're a solid three. Oh, fuck. Yeah. You just don't fit the kawaii look they're going for. What if I, like, removed one of my eyes and got an eye patch? Oh fuck! That's edgy as yeah, fuck. Solid be like ten. Real You're down. down. Okay, cool. Right. Be down with that. That that's some trigger shit right nice. there. And you gotta wear you gotta wear like a like a one of those like French made outfits. I'll I'll take out me my other eye and I'll also wear it. We'll be oh, like a fuck. Oh, we're fuck. We'll be Damn. unstoppable, dog. Elevens <sighs> easily. Yeah, let's do it. All right, cool. <laughs> and then uh, the Megalobox official soundtrack is gonna release in June. Oh, are you still which, watching that? Yeah, I yeah. like that show. That's another show. Yeah, I was kind of saving that for this piece of news. Uh. I'm really having a good time with yeah. it. I like that the latest episode didn't really focus on our hero too much. Yeah. And it focused a little bit more on like what's going on in the background, what we haven't been seeing these mm-hmm. last few episodes. I'm digging it. Yeah. I, I'm curious what direction the show is going to go because we're at a point right now where it can all kind of change. Mm-hmm. I, so. I really, I really like the way this last episode ended. It didn't end. The, I mean, it didn't end the way I thought it was going to end. Like the, the yeah. show took a turn. I was like, "Really going uh-huh. this way?" Like, "Holy shit!" Okay, Mega Low Box, watch out. You know, they're like, not, they're not just doing like the cookie cutter thing. No. Um, I also really love the fucking intro song. I'm not a fan of the visuals for the intro, but it, that the fuck, intro song is pretty good. But that intro song is fucking killer, and it, the animation looks great. So I jam to the outro song. Like, I'll think about it. I'm just going about <laughs> my own business, and suddenly I hear like the whoa whoa no then man. like a bunch of fake japanese rapping goes on in my head because i don't know any of the words this, she's saying was it this last episode i don't know it was a couple episodes ago i think it like they started off with like they were having like uh like they were putting up a bunch of propaganda for promotions for uh fucking joe or whatever yeah and just this little kid who's walking and rapping that yeah, was I super think that was this dope. one yeah was this last episode yeah that was super dope i was like it was oh, rad. fucking nice a little fucking shitter i, I love loved it. i love me some japanese rap it's rad there's not much news this week, man. That's okay, man. That's all the news I got for you. Cool. But, man, good anime is going on this yeah, week. No, we, we hit our... Something... I don't know what happened this last week, but something happened where, like, so many shows keep getting better. Bro, we've hit the peak. We're, we're, we're at fucking... We're at the fucking pinnacle point of anime perfection. Mount Kilimanjaro you know what that means, right? of anime. It's downhill from here. Oh, shit. When you hear that... I'm sorry, real quick. When you yeah. hear that, do you, think, do you think that's a good thing or a bad thing? Downhill? Like, everything's downhill from here. Well... Uh, it's supposed to be a bad thing. Cause, but, cause some people argue that like, oh, it's so much easier to go downhill. Like you work super hard to go up. Right. Yeah. And then when you go down, it's like, oh, it's just fucking smooth sailing. Cause you have to essentially just, you just go. Yeah. Well, th- the whole thing with that is you want your mountain to be a plateau. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. So I know what that word means, but for people who don't know what that means, <laughs> why don't you just tell them? Like a, a very flat yeah, surface. Yeah, a plateau, dog. Yeah, plateau. <laughs> no, I know what a plateau is. <laughs> um, no, it's, I remember. I just the argument. I've had I've had arguments with people before. Where I was like, yeah, it's all downhill from here. I'm like, and they say it like it's like a like a, I mean, like a it's negative all downhill thing from here. You know, or like a, like a like a like a positive thing. I'm like, yeah. what are you trying to say? Or whatever. It's like, I'm that's bad. Like downhill is like, oh fuck, it's just everything's gonna go to shit now. 
Yeah, yeah. That's essentially what it means. That's what I always thought it means. Anyways, um, yeah, we're doing good. Anime is doing a good job right now, and that makes me pretty happy. It's a great way to start summer. Yeah, cool. summer. <laughs> summer vacation. You're yeah. happy, too. You get all the fucking, stupid kids. I'm getting so leave. stoked. All the kids are gone right now. Like, today was the busy day, and everyone's like, um, I'm about to leave town, so can I, like, have a move out right now? And it's like, well, you know, like, two months ago when we said, schedule your move outs with us, and we gave you a big old packet of shit, and then you were just like, eh, fuck you well it turns out that now that goes both ways because we're busy and the people that we're responsible anyways i have some uh pent up for feelings yeah, from feel work like, right now because you, you actually have to work today these little fucking shit lords think that they own the world let's talk about some shit anyways so this week uh we're doing uh, live action garbage we're actually reviewing two pieces of live action um anime adaptations one's a series uh-huh. uh and then the other one's a movie uh, Which, they're pretty recent, right? Uh, yeah, Kakegurui yeah, is and, uh, the live action TV show miniseries, yeah. which was made this year. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to also go over Gintama. Yeah, and uh, Kakegurui is on Netflix, and Gintama is on. Uh, we rented it on Prime, right? Uh huh. Amazon Prime. And Gintama came out in 2017 in yeah. July, I believe. Yeah, at the, um, yeah. So, but I don't think we got it until the United States until this year. Right. Because, yeah, I remember, I remember like seeing a bunch of promotion for like the Gintama live action movie. I remember that, yeah. yeah. So, uh, a little interesting thing here. Um, the director of the Gintama movie uh, was a writer on another movie that the director of the Kakegurui TV oh. series uh, made. So, they made this thing in 2011 together. We didn't even realize Inception. it. Inception. Kind of all came together at the end. Immaculate Conception. I don't know. Very some, interesting. Something about them crossing paths is interesting. You can kind of yeah, kind of feel it almost. You know, you can, it, it's I, that's kind of right, how kinda? I was feeling. Kakegurui. Uh, I mean, we'll get into it, but I feel like Gintama did a lot of things right, and Kakeguru was like, we got to do those things. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, cool. Um, we're going to start off with Kakeguri, um, because uh, that's the one we watched first, I guess. Yeah, it's the one that we definitely decided that we were going to watch when yeah. we found out that Netflix had it. We were just like, all right, well, let's just <laughs> fucking, let's <laughs> go in, boys. I just screenshotted you, like, a thing. I was like, hey, man, this came out. I was like, when? Fucking, I don't know. I was like, all right, that's the episode. Let's <laughs> fucking do it. We're doing it. That's what we definitely have to do. Yeah, so um, it's 10 episodes, um, which is... Is, I think two less than the actual like anime, and they're 23 minutes long, which you know it's about right. Um, okay, I'm gonna be really honest with you guys, I didn't like it. Well, it was bad, really. You're just gonna come out the gate saying you don't like it, yeah, man. It wasn't good. <laughs> like, I mean, I'm having a good time watching it, really. Because it's really bad. Yeah, okay, that, and see, I that, that's it. yeah, that's the thing. No, no. Okay. I had a lot of fun with it. It was just like, all right, let's just put it on because it's it's not like oh, I want to gouge my eyes out. It's mm-hmm. like, what are they going to do yeah, next? Exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, no. There's there are things for sure in the movie that I enjoyed and things that I think they did well, but it's definitely overshadowed shadowed by things. I was like, why the fuck did they do that? You know, just a bunch of those moments. Like, yeah, I felt like embarrassed yeah. while watching it because you know you're watching like the anime or whatever it's like let's get our gambling freak on and yeah. there's like weird sexual parts it's like that's something you should be embarrassed about watching because mm-hmm. you're like oh man if it's somebody walked in on weird. me right now that would be fucking weird and now watching this show it's like a different kind of embarrassment i'm like i don't care if anybody sees me watching this because i'm not like enjoying the show yeah. i'm just watching it like oh no You're like god damn it god, why did i start uh, an anime podcast with my friend had to review this horrible show long story short this is our last episode not true you say that all the time why do you always do that it was like know. this is it we fucking this is this is the this is the one that fucking just uh, fucking killed us that's it what what will <laughs> what will break us finally should, should we get into that conversation what will finally break us or fucking done <sighs> I don't know, because fucking Saki K fucking kicked me hard, man. Oh, that was a bad that was a, time. That was such a kick in the teeth. Like, I thought, like, one of our worst things ever was uh, fucking, was it Neo Yokio? Like, I'm like, I remember watching Neo Yokio and be like, this is an all-time low. This We cannot go lower than I this. I felt bad. And people fucking love it, because it's like, it's a parody, but it wasn't enough of a parody yeah. for me to enjoy in any way. I just remember that being, like, a bad time. And, like, but then there's that one episode where they go to, like, the Hamptons, and it's like... That one was great with the dude. That dude. episode, like, oh. essentially saved my, like, my, you know my sanity for the yeah, podcast the dude but who turned into a chick was oh was psyche so funny. k comes out and i'm just like oh and then this thing hits me oh i don't know man it's gonna it's gonna be something really hard because we've gone through a lot of shit yeah luckily we're talking about one of our favorite episodes that is just pure shit talking which is live I action garbage i love this live action because garbage you go into it 
it, like you know I was it's going to be bad. Yeah, you go into it with such low expectations. Mm-hmm. You're like, all right, prove me wrong, yeah. motherfucker. And then they don't. You're like, that's what I thought. Fucking I'm thought. better than you. Yeah, look at I all these actors it. and all these fucking cameramen and the fucking editors. The sound, all the people that work so hard on this fucking trash. Yeah, you just watch those credits rolling. Start, and you're like, spit on the you TV screen. piece of shit. <laughs> You start spit on the screen. I could have done better. I could have played all the characters in this and <laughs> done better. Oh man, the Orange High School Host Club live action oh, series kinda hurts, right? Yeah, it's fucking. That's bad. It okay. feels like your heart is like jumping out of your chest, and you want to like punch it so you can die. I'm pretty sure if your heart expands more than twice its size, you should be dead. So, whatever, man. I'm down. Anyways, um, so it's essentially you know the story from Kakaguri. So if you see him, if you haven't seen the show. Watch the anime, like without Honestly, a doubt. The anime was really good. Oh, it was. I really liked it. It's it's it was kind of weird. Like you and I were talking about, like a it, very strange show. Yeah, it's like the genre isn't really. It's like it's like comedy sort of. It's like it has really dark. It's like a dark humor sort of. Like the, yeah, and it's like well, this it's a shonen. Thing. Yeah, it's a shonen. This weird shonen. It's a shonen like battle anime. Yeah, with uh very surreal things going on, mm-hmm. like some some bizarre. uh like pretty much everyone is over the top, yeah, it, but it, it's done in a way where it feels natural within the world. It's also one of those like game, one of those animes where it's like it's all about like the mental aspect of it. Like, yeah, like oh, how do I win this game by cheating? It's exactly, like, which it's is super fun. It's a, yeah, exactly. You're trying to figure it out with the other characters. Yeah, like oh, how are they winning? How yeah. like you know how is she gonna find it out? Um, so that being said, anime hands down amazing. Watch oh, it. Also, looks clean as fuck. Oh yeah, great intro, good outro. We've talked one of the about, best blockers. I think one of probably favorite, the best blocker in God, all of anime. Yeah. And one um fucking, I think that was one of our best episodes, the Kakaguri episode. We had such I a good time it. reviewing it. it. So if you just go back and listen to it, it surprised us so much. We're yeah. like, all right, this sexual this gambling yeah. show. Let's see what it is. Yeah, people loved it. Like this can't be that great, and it's a great show. They so convince um, me. That being said, go back and watch, listen to the review, Kakaguri. It's amazing. Um. So we're just gonna essentially spoil this for you because he gives a fuck. But yeah, so uh, so in this in this you you got the ma- the same similar you have the same characters. You have the yeah. main character yep. who is a a new transfer student, who, dumbass bitch boy. Yeah, who, yeah, who is obsessed with gambling. Yeah, you have our character who is like essentially the the person that's teaching our character the rules or the lay of the land, right? Who is this useless meek character? Um, and then you have like the is this. Rival that becomes a friend, right? With Mary, I love her. Yeah. At first, I was like, I don't know how I feel about her, mm. and then at the anime, I'm like, Yeah, <sighs> fuck Mary, yeah. my girl. Yeah. And then you, have, and then you have the student council members. Um, and I feel like they did a good job with a few of the characters, like transferring them over. Like uh-huh. one in particular, they did a really good job. But the main character, I wasn't really feeling, and they really did a shit job with weird. Mary, who I who I really like in the anime. Yeah, and in here, I'm just like, I'm just not feeling it. There you were know? points where I was like, that's Mary. Yeah, and there's but points it where it was like very uncommon. Yeah, like there's points where I don't know. Did Mary ever have a thing for our main ca- for the main guy character in the anime? No, <laughs> that little moment where she was like. <gasps> No, I'm not yeah. into him. Yeah, like I was like, well, well, it was super weird. And also, our, okay, so our main guy character in the anime, totally useless, essentially cannon fodder. Like he's a fucking, I don't even know why he's there. Um, but in this one, I kind of like the role he took, where he was actually a little more important. He he knew more. He he was vocal more. But God, was he fucking obnoxious. He was really annoying. Yeah. He was like Asta in the beginning of Black Clover. Oh. Where he was like, shut the fuck, fuck up. up. Yeah. Nobody wants this. Let's get to episode 10 where you've stopped being a bitch. Yeah. Where someone rips out your vocal cords and you yeah, can't exactly. yell anymore. Yeah, so the acting in, in the, like, okay, so the main thing they did with this series, you know, is they made it a comedy. They uh-huh. tried to make everything funny with a bunch of slapstick and like over the top acting. And you said it felt almost theatrical at points, right? It, like, it definitely did. Uh, can I, yeah, I'm going to stop you for a yeah, second. Yeah, for sure. Can you guess what the genre is listed as on IMDb? I'm pretty sure it's listed as comedy and, um, uh, like drama, like, like, uh, like school drama or whatever. Well, you got half of it right. What is it? Drama is correct. Okay mystery what mystery drama is what this is listed as not a comedy it is a mystery why it, it is not a comedy i it, it has no mystery elements to mm-hmm. me i'm not trying to figure shit out i'm just like fucking here to watch this weird ass show i guess if you hadn't seen the anime before you'd be like how are they cheating or whatever but it's not that's not a mystery though yeah that's like a like 
action suspense it's like drama. more of a mental thing yeah yeah man anyways what they did is they, they tried to make it funny um and it, it, they, oh man they tried really hard and at no point did i ever laugh which is kind of bad because like for the actual kagaguri there are points where i actually i you know audibly well, laughed I, you never laughed at all while watching this this thing yeah because i definitely laughed during it but not at the jokes i mean that's what i'm saying i don't know yeah. even like the parts i'm like where uh where like things are so bad i'm like oh i didn't laugh I'm like oh it's bad it was more like oh like it cringe it's like oh that is that is way okay. too much well there were definitely parts where i was cringing yeah which is not something that i do i'm like you know what everyone could be uh, yeah, themselves pretty, yeah. whatever this is just like but what this is it is super cringe this fest. is like i ugh, especially why one specific character made me just cringe all the time um so yeah so so our main character comes to the school where she, uh, the school essentially runs on this system where, uh, everybody gambles and they, you know, wager money that they usually don't have. And if they lose, they become indebted to the school council. And yeah. the way they get out of that is they have to, you know, pay, donate money in quotations to the student council to yeah. no longer be in debt. And, uh, our main character is just obsessed with the thrill. She's a compulsive gambler. She's obsessed with the thrill of oh, just yeah. gambling. She and, loves the threat of losing yeah. and she loves that day. Like it makes her feel alive, whatever. Yeah. And along the, the way, along the show, she meets other unstable people who are also compulsive gamblers. Um, but she is just fucking heads and shoulders above crazy as she is, you know, like yeah. they're nuts. They're a thousand. She's a thousand times nuts, like more nuts, like to the point where like her eyes go red, mm-hmm. like in the, in the actual live action and people notice them they're like, Oh my God, did you see that bitch's eyes? That being said, I never felt like she was the crazy one in any of these no, situations. It almost felt like it almost everyone felt like, else was crazier, crazier than her. Yeah. Like she, they, the, I think, it, and that's, that's a, I think that's, we have to give that to the the actress. She was just not a good actress. No. Like well, every time she would give the lines, she was kind of be like this weird, <laughs> like like really horribly done, like evil laugh kind of mm-hmm. thing. And I was just yeah. like, God, you're just shit house at this. Because one of the things that the original does so well is it, they show that the main character chick Jabami, uh, she is incredibly methodical. Mm-hmm. Everything she does has a lot of purpose. So she'll talk slowly and she'll win people over and she's like a sweetheart. Oh, she plays super love dumb, her. Yeah. yeah. And there are just certain things that she does that are like, this is all planned out. And then it hits a certain point where she's like, oh, she, yeah. ah. she like, like, literally, okay, yeah, literally no. snaps. Like she yeah. becomes like fluid, almost like smoke of like, just, just like this other creature. Like, it's, oh yeah, like a total, it's a totally different thing. And it's awesome to see. Yeah. And she just jumps into that action role. And in this, she just like slow and methodical. And she's like, I'm now really strong. And it's like, ah, yeah. you weren't yelling. You were just like, I'm stronger and scary. And this is gambling. And that's crazy. So how far did you get in the show? Cause I you, watched eight episodes. Did you watch all of episode eight or like just up until eight? Uh, it ended with like, it was going to go into the, the suicide chick. Okay. The arc with the, I think she's the beautification. Yeah. Like, uh, fucking leader or president of See, like, I would the student remember council. If it was a real ass thing. I but. remember, I remember <laughs> the only reason I remember is because it's not a real ass yeah, thing. Exactly. Like my job is to make sure that like the rest of the school is beautiful. Yeah, Even though yeah, she's like yeah. fucking insane looking. Yeah. Okay. So you got pretty far. Um, so in the, in the anime, in the, in the anime, they get, um, there's more to it. Like this, oh, yeah. this, 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 this live action series is, is cut like two episodes short and, um, you can totally tell like it, it, it never gives you a good idea of who the student council is and like what exactly yeah, is going on with them there, at yeah. all. It does a bad job explaining stuff and it sacrifices some of the storytelling for mm-hmm. jokes that don't work. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know. Fucking, it's just a kind of a bummer because, you know, the student council is really good. Uh, as as a villain, you know, as like true. A, as like yeah. And here for a while, the villain is is Mary, and like they just the pacing. Which is, Mary being the villain is the same thing that the show did, and yeah. they did a really good job with that, like the anime did. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying like um, the pacing of this live action show is just is a little off. Like it's things drag out too long. Like yeah, a, a, sure. An episode, a thing that should have been an episode is like an episode two, almost two and a half episodes long. Or like oh, what's going on here? We get some of the classic games. We get the the rock paper scissors game. Yeah, we get the uh the game where they play like the the live or die thing we get the game where they play double concentration with the nails uh-huh. um we also get the my favorite game in the in the anime which is like the poker game where they uh, indian poker where they swap each other's deaths yeah. and then the they last did, oh, the last man. game we get is is the 
the like the Russian roulette game. So that means we missed the Pop Idol game yeah. and uh, the game against the the president. I mean the the vice president or the treasurer or whatever, which was this right. weird. I don't think it was. I think it was poker. And then or twenty one. And then yeah. and then the last one with like the president, which was this weird like pick a card, any card zodiac thing, which is it was, super. That dope. was a weird ass which thing, which I really yeah. liked um, because we got to see the fucking who the big bad was at the very end. Yeah, finally. And if they do make a season two. That'd be rad. It's funny because at the end of at the end of you know the fucking the end credits of every show, there's like chibi versions of them. Like, hey, thank you for watching, and see yeah, you next yeah. week. And so at the end of episode ten, I was like, oh, cool. I'm like, I didn't realize it was the end. And they're like, oh, cool. Like, we know who the bad guys are. Maybe we'll see you next time. Well, who knows? Like, it's just like, oh, you guys are definitely not getting a second season. Nah, 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 not um, after that. Okay, what's uh, what's some things that like were just fucking bad? Okay, well, I mean, you start out with your obnoxious, like, main character guy, mm. uh, who, it, even though the story is about Jabani, it follows this dude more than her. How, how weird is it that the in the intro, like, everybody's singing along or whatever, and there's just, like, girls looking kind of, like... Because the intro of, of, the, of the anime is, like, this really weird, like, surreal floating with fruits and stuff, you know, kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, and it looked really cool. It yeah, was super good unique. song and everything. Yeah. And this one, it's like, <clears throat> I like the song, it's interesting, um, but the intro is, like... Just the girls kind of moving around, kind of looking like mischievous, and then the main character guy fighting people and like beating the shit out of them, which is totally out of his character. Yeah, not at all something that he would do. Right? It was just super weird. Um, I, I think that the idea is that he's trying to protect Jabami, even though he's useless. Yeah. He's, well, I mean, because in every situation, she's like, "Show me around the school or whatever." Mm-hmm. He's like, "Absolutely," and he's like, "You stay away from there because those people are bad mm-hmm. people." She's like, "All right, so I'm gonna go there." Yeah. And I'm gonna kick their ass. The is only, what I'm gonna do. The only two bits I liked about the main character, like the main guy character, yeah, was I liked when he would come back and do a recap at the beginning, uh-huh. and then he would get cut off short because the music would stop, and then yeah. he's like, it was back to the action. I thought that was funny or like it was interesting, funny, yeah. as like just as like a a way of storytelling. <clears throat> it was a pretty cool thing. I also liked um, the relationship between him and the girl, especially when like like the banter back and forth was like, he's like gambling is bad. You're not gonna do it. like. You're not gonna do this. Yeah, gambling's bad. Okay, you're not gonna do it. Yeah, gambling's bad. And then just instantly ignore him. I was like, oh, yeah. that's that's kind of endearing and sweet. Besides that, I could just fucking take him or leave him. Like, I, I, he just was essentially he felt pretty useless. Yeah, um, yeah, that was pretty bad. Uh, Which is a good thing that he felt useless because that's more true to the anime. Yeah, but but it, it was, but mm-hmm, there was no need for him still. Like, if they were to be like, you know what, we're just not gonna stay completely true. The first thing that you do is cut out him. The thing is, you know, he feels completely useless, but at the in the anime at the very end, he becomes like somebody, yeah. you know, like, like yeah. he, he has a really defining like character defining moment. And I was like, oh my god. Like he becomes of some sort of substance, which I really like. He does. And this, yeah. He's just he's milk toast the entire way. He's yep. actually boring shit. Um, well, and he's not even there for like half of the thing. No, he's fucking trash. Okay, what um what I, something I didn't like is my favorite episode is the episode when they play Indian poker. Absolutely, um, yeah. And God, it was just so it was annoying to see them play. Everybody was just yelling at each other. The yeah. the main bad guy in that episode is this guy who who takes advantage of people who are pets. You know, takes like essentially like bullies the girls and guys that are kittens and puppy and doggies or whatever. Yeah, and he's just like he's this little fucking twerp. He's this tiny. A little weirdo with like an ear piercing, a shitty haircut, and like these really like lame looking glasses. Yeah, he just looks like a fucking dork. Where if somebody like that were to come up to me and like try to start shit with me, it's like, all right, well, I don't feel super bad about like just ignoring you yeah, right or now. Or punching him in the yeah. throat. Like, he, yeah, if I mean, if it escalated to that point, I wouldn't feel bad about yeah, that. Yeah, no, and he, he does this thing where like he'll. He will yell like obnoxiously loud, like you know, I'm gonna call, or I'm gonna fold, or whatever. I'm just like, dude, shut the fuck up. Like in in real life, you would play the game poker and you'd be like, oh, I'm folding, oh, I'm gonna call, you know, because there's yeah. some tact to the game. And it, he was just he was at a hundred the whole time, and oh, I yeah. just could not stand him. No, and that's the frustrating thing because they got confused because in the anime, it there's a lot of just like fold call. Mm-hmm. Ah, I'm not listening to you. You guys are motherfuckers. Yeah fold yeah <laughs> like you know it was pretty calm and then there are points where it's like what the fuck like no, this, yeah, fuck you like this i'm calling now and it goes into like a different absolutely it yeah. escalates and there's this inter- internal monologue that we see from him a lot in that episode yeah. because he's the one that's like on the fucking roach history he's the one mm-hmm. that's like holy shit i don't know what what game he's playing he's These on the defense now exactly yeah. but in this one he was just all offense the whole time just yelling the whole time as opposed to slowly like losing his mind you know yeah as, as opposed to starting off being being super confident 
and then getting kind of worried and then being okay and then I'm going to win and then losing his shit. It's just like, yeah. I'm just going to be super intense the whole time, which really it, it fucking didn't work. I hated that and, shit. And this is a character that's, you know, he beats the shit out of all the doggies and like kitties, mm-hmm. which are the people that owe debts and they pretty much just get used by anybody who doesn't owe a debt. Yeah. Um, Total sleaze bag. Yeah. So he's a piece of shit. And then in the anime, he has this whole confrontation with like, he, he's gonna rape our main character girl yeah and there's a whole thing but she's like pretending to be into it like oh whatever and the beautification lady comes yeah, by and she like saves the day and that's how she's introduced and like yeah. how she starts playing a big role in this um it, we see like her story start to unfold at that point didn't do that this month yeah. or in that no. way essentially what happened is this little piece of shit twerp that's not like a huge intimidating dude in any way or yeah, fashion he's tiny yeah and that was the thing that I liked most about the whole, like, oh, yeah, I'm going to, like, rape you thing. And she's like, ooh, okay, like, that sounds fun, whatever. Like, I'm a cat. And then yeah, he's just like, yeah. okay, you're freaking me out the like, way you're, that you're acting. like, yeah, you're scaring me. And it was cool seeing somebody who's, like, so big and powerful be like, uh, no, nah, I don't. Turned off by, yeah, by something that, like, like you're I'm the, not. Yeah, you're the one that's joking that you're going to do this to me. And she's like, yeah, I'll play into your game. And, like, oh, he's she's calling his bluff. Like, yeah, you're just yeah. a bitch. You're not going to do anything. I fucking love that they handled it so well in, in the, the anime. anime. It yeah. was really really fucked up and they handled it in such a, a cool way where it was just like oh okay yeah that scene totally had context and it For worked sure. and it like built these characters in different ways and then they have that same scene happen in the anime where it's just like all right this little fuck boy who nobody gives a shit about is like oh yeah like i'm, I'm gonna use you or whatever mm-hmm. and then jabami's just like okie dokie i'm joking around who yeah. cares and then, and then she's like I'm, you're not my type and sits down I'm like what the fuck you know? yeah exactly and that was like <sighs> oh okay so really this is... hated that because that was my <sighs> favorite episode in, in the in the anime and they just fucking ruined it yeah um, the whole like indian poker thing it was just i don't know and it also pissed me off too because the beautification uh council member or whatever coming up and stopping it in the anime was like a pretty big thing yeah, she brings out a yeah. gun she's like yeah. hey check out this fucking colt 45 i got and then she's like you know what new plan uh you blow my brains out yeah, yeah like you can kill me or like if you don't kill me you get to rape me is that what you Win-win. want yeah you let's weird, do yeah. that it was like a fucking crazy thing yeah um and so we didn't get any of that instead what happened is as that scene was coming to a close we get our main character boy or whatever Twerp screaming around like, the hey, corner someone's coming yeah, yeah. he's like oh no there's like a council member coming and then a the little piece of shit that was trying to be all rapey runs away and it's just like dude that's that's your character you're like the biggest bitch in the world yeah, but you're just a- being an asshole to every i don't know i was frustrated with it like yeah. i don't i don't want to watch a rape scene or anything like yeah. that but i'm like if you're gonna put that in there commit yeah i don't you be, have yeah. nothing yeah i feel it okay other things i didn't like uh there's a bit where we meet the student council member i don't know what part she is what her position is but she essentially she's in charge of the like the den of like gamblers and they play like um this weird game where like they throw swords in cups yeah and she had this thing where in, okay, in the anime in their defense in the anime she had her eyes her eyes were very narrow like um slanted super sp- squinty squinty, squinty. so like it, like her eyes were open like in quotations but yeah you couldn't tell like it just looks like a line right and and there's a part where she does open her eyes super wide in the anime because she's like holy shit like she's like right. super shocked right and which is and there are also points in the anime where it shows other characters being shocked and whatnot mm-hmm. and they're already like regular open eyes blow the fuck up yeah. to these like unrealistic it's like proportions yeah yeah and it's these crazy faces and these insane drawings that they make to really super like detailed. accentuate yeah which, yeah. which are the emotions really of the characters exactly but, but it's in, uncomfortable but they the, don't uh. in the live action they did this thing where like they did okay they found an actress that did have like really like narrow eyes or whatever and i was like okay cool but they also made like oh your eyes aren't narrow enough just essentially close your eyes and say all your lines while your eyes are closed so there's going to be an episode a part in the episode where you're going to open your eyes and reveal them and people are going to lose their shit because they've never seen your eyes and it just looked like a stupid kid just there with their eyes closed saying their lines and it just was so fucking lame um hated that bit it was dumb yeah what else was there okay there's also the special effect where they would sna- I was hoping, yeah, yeah where they would narrow their peoples not their peoples their entire iris you know they're just like everything they would just like shrink it essentially you go to photoshop hold z and hit the hit, no you can fucking free, tra- uh, free transform it hold z and and scroll down or whatever and yeah. it, it just like they got really tiny and the first time i saw it i was like huh Maybe they made them change contact lenses or whatever. Like, yeah, but like that. no, it's an animation yeah. effect where they really showed it. Like somebody's free 
freaking out. So their eyes like bulge Boom, and then yeah. like all the white just takes over their eyes. It and it's was, just these little tiny pupils. It was, kind of, it was really. It was unsettling. Yeah, it was not not well used. But not yet. It wasn't unsettling in the same way that like those exaggerated pictures from the anime yeah. were. It, it, this was unsettling because it's like, where did this come from? This feels like real fake. And it, it really gave me like. Uh, or on high school host club vibes, like the live action yeah, version. Yeah, it was absolutely. like, you know, like, what is going on here? The one character I did like the characterization of him, and we barely saw her. Yeah. But was uh, one of the council members is this little girl who's like a Lolita character, right? Yep. Who wears like this big old, like, uh, this special little rabbit it, hoodie. Yeah, essentially like a fucking, like, uh, what's, it, like a, what's the name of the chick that I hate? Uh, She's like oh, a hamster uh, chick. What's her name? Oh, Umaru. Yeah, yeah she's yeah, actually like yeah, an yeah. Umaru jacket with like bunny ears or whatever. Yeah. She's playing video games, sucking on a sucker. Um, who is which? Shout outs Nintendo Switch used in TV. Yeah, Crazy. I saw. It, yeah. Um, so yeah. So in the anime, she's a tiny character who's like super cute, and she's you can tell she's kind of evil. But then there's moments where she gets super dark and serious and terrifies people. Holy shit! She was the most like convincing evil character. Yeah, yeah. And, and in the in the live action thing, she did. They casted someone who was perfect. She did a great job. Um, a like standing I, ovation to her, absolutely, without a doubt. Fucking golden star. She she took the show in my her opinion. One minute of airtime was fantastic. Yeah, she was there. <laughs> she was there a couple times, and every time she was on screen, it was de- it was honestly a treat to see her. They tried to stay true to the show, um, to the anime, like be like you know accurate and stuff, but they just couldn't. And I think that's the biggest issue. I feel like they made a mistake by changing it into trying to make it funnier than what than it's supposed to be or whatever. It was so bizarre, and the pacing was just off. And um, yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, just not a good thing. Just watch. Just watch the anime. Honestly, yeah. You got a you got a rank of all these live action things. I think right? so. Yeah. Let me bring it up. If I got it. All right. Because I don't really know where I want to put this, but I could tell you I know it's below a lot. <laughs> so talk about the intro. The about- yeah. Okay. So this was an interesting thing. Um, the intro, it, like we said before, it's a, our characters like singing this intro song and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And this song's pretty fitting for what the show was. I thought yeah. um, they accomplished exactly what they wanted to, and it was like a fun little intro where everyone's singing along. But they change it. They change it to focus more on certain characters, um, depending so, on what episode it was. Yeah. yeah. So the Indian poker one. Essentially, what happens is we get that like bully motherfucker mm-hmm. and the chick that he's been like abusing yeah. lately um, with their singing it and i thought that that was pretty cool like seeing that it was they, just yeah. them i felt like they went that extra mile for that for that intro which i i personally appreciate it yeah it really absolutely good. it was um, cool the beautification thing like the the whatever her role is uh-huh um in the anime there's a part where she's like getting off on trying to kill herself yeah with the you know russian roulette which is like which is is unsettling. It's, it's super weird. disturbing. Yeah, but seeing it live action is so much more disturbing. Like it's just like super weird, and yeah, I just hated everything they did with her. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So I found I got the rankings. Okay, okay. So this is just stuff that we've watched. It's live action. Yeah, Netflix and other stuff. Um, just before that. So mm-hmm. here we go. I'm gonna go from the top. This is what yours looks like. This so is the best. Erased Netflix series. Sure. Uh, I am hero. Uh huh. Uh, Anahana. Yep. Another. Yeah. The Erased Movie with okay. uh, Japanese Brad Pitt. Okay, yeah. Uh, then the Full Metal Alchemist Netflix seri- movie. Uh-huh. Then Mushishi. Okay. L Saves the World. Okay. Uh, Death Note 1 and 2. Yep. Death Note, uh, the Netflix movie. Great. Future Diaries, Another World. Fantastic. Foreign High School Host Club Drama. All right. King's Game. Okay. Uh, Death Note Drama. All right. Attack on Titan. Yeah. Devil Man. Okay. I want to put this one above. Above or on. Okay. And what was bef- what was above that one? The Future Diaries one. Mm, I'm, I'm going to put it above Future Diaries. So, above Future Diaries. Okay, so, so this is, what, Kakeguri Netflix. Yeah. For me, mine and, mine and yours shake up essentially the same, except I <clears throat> I put Attack on Titan higher for some reason, because I kind of liked it. Yeah, that's fair. Um, and then, I mean, essentially the bottoms are, I mean, <laughs> I think I have it. The Death Note drama, lower. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put this. Wait, wait. it's. It, I'm gonna put it above Oran also because. Yeah. Because it gives me super Oran vibes, but just like a little bit better. Yeah. Exa- and when I mean better, it's nothing to be proud of. Like, uh uh-uh, yeah. no. Yeah, it's like well, I hated it, but I liked it. But I it hated more. the Oran one more. Yeah. Yeah. Kakeguri. Okay. Cool, man. So yeah. Um bad show just watch yeah. just watch the anime uh there was one more thing which i don't remember what it was i was like gonna bring it up but i didn't it doesn't matter it was a bad show mm-hmm. just, please don't 
spend any time watching it. Cool. This next one is a, uh, in my opinion, it's not a bad show. It's not a show at all. It's a movie, actually. Yeah. So it's the Gintama live action movie that came out last year. Yeah. It's just called Gintama, right? Exactly. Not even Gintama the movie or anything like Gintama. that. Just Gintama. And um, what do you have to say about this guy? Well, because have you I've, have you watched any Gintama? I watched before? a few episodes of Gintama. Okay. I wanted to go through and watch all of them, mm-hmm. um, but there's a, lot. a long time ago. Yeah, and then I was like, let's just start it up. Let's do it. So I watched a few episodes, and I was like, the fuck? There's a million episodes. Yeah. All right, maybe I don't watch all of them, but like, we'll see. And uh, then I've seen like a bunch of clips, and I've watched a couple of extra episodes just here and there, and like more recent ones. Not like new, new, but mm-hmm. like you know more recent. Um, and Gintama is a fun comedy. Mm-hmm. There's so much for you to watch. If you ever wanted to get into it, there's a fuckload. And I went into this live action movie pretty optimistic, honestly. Yeah, me too. Um, and I'm happy to say it didn't bite me in the ass. Actually, yeah, exactly. Because uh, I've so so I've watched maybe two episodes of the original Gintama series. Yeah, and then I watched this Gintama movie. It was called Gintama the movie. It yeah. came out in two thousand something or whatever. Right, and it was uh, surprisingly, which I didn't know. It's this live action is almost an adaptation of this that movie. Yeah, which is pretty cool that you were able to see that. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm because I'm like, oh man, <laughs> sitting down, I'm like I have very little to compare Gintama this Gintama live action to. Yeah, it's like to what I've seen. Oh. That's not true. I have exactly what it's what, what it, I have exactly the right amount to compare it to. Yeah. So like, while I know a little bit about Gintama and I've seen episodes here and there, I didn't realize that there was like a big overarching plot <laughs> yeah, ever. So, yeah. um, and, and it almost there almost isn't an overarching plot just because like it's because the show is so wacky and absurd. Yeah. That's how. That's why I also came into this thing being like, you know what, this might actually work. Exactly. Because most live action things are just inherently bad because they look so absurd i was just like uh fortunately gintama knows it looks fucked up it's just like it's like this might work and in my opinion i think it worked very well yeah i uh i was pretty like starting out i was into it Mm -hmm. real fucking into it uh from the very first scene there were they pretty much did everything right yeah i have no complaints about like the first scene of this at all yeah I, I don't think i have many complaints overall like this wasn't my favorite thing in the world yeah it's not something that i'm like oh man you guys got to see the live action or anything like that but it wouldn't but, be something you'd be like you gotta avoid this you know no exactly it's like hey you know about the live action yeah, it's pretty I'm good like, yeah you should yeah you should watch it i mean if you're thinking about watching it watch do it, it. Yeah. yeah so um i'm gonna do a quick rundown of what gintama is just Please kind of do so essentially gintama is about this swordsman who uh is a uh he he no longer is a swordsman they live they live in this world where um it's like the is it arrow eto what's the, the period yeah, the of edo period the era, yeah. edo period but it also got invaded by some sort of like aliens or whatever and uh they lost human like humanity lost and so the aliens are now there and they kind of rule and ba- swords are now banned it's kind of yeah. against the law to be a swordsman so he's just like well i'm still a swordsman but I, I can't be like a samurai anymore, so mm. I'll just be, you know, a handyman or whatever. So he just does anything for work. Yeah. And that's where the wackiness ensues. Like, hey, man, we need you to go catch these fucking beetles. And he's like, well, that's my job. I'm going to go do it. Or like, we need you to go to fucking find the stolen items. He's like, okay, well, that's my job. He just kind of does anything. Yeah. And um, that being said, like, he's surrounded by a huge cast of really wacky characters. Like, there's him, who I'm assuming is a human. Um, and then his, I always thought yeah, he was. Yeah. And then there's his, uh, his like, his... His protege, who was a, I guess he was studying how to be a samurai because he's not really a samurai. He's kind of a coward. Yeah. His parents owned the fencing academy, but since no one can do swords, you know, manship anywhere. What good is that? Yeah, yeah. So he's like now works with him. And the last character of the trio is this girl who is uh, an alien, apparently. Uh-huh. And she is just like super strong and like super regenerative power and stuff. And uh, she also has a pet dog. Who is like the size of like I don't know fucking enormous fucking elephant you know essentially like it's just huge <laughs> a little bit smaller but yeah uh, like a baby elephant y- sure yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just really big like it's bigger than this room it's about the size what? of this room no it hits the ceiling no D- you don't think that dog had hit the ceiling listen man that dog was like a little bit taller than a person no fucking way yeah I don't believe it it's like bring it out send the dog this way see oh you're right 
Yeah. It's a little, it's about, it's it, about, it's very like large enough for somebody to ride without it being like, I feel though. bad about riding it. I you would know? feel bad about riding yeah, it. Yeah, exactly. Gladly ride that thing. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of like the basic premise of the show. I mean, going, since there's so much, like there's so much content to Gintama, you'd, you would feel like this show is almost, you feel like, oh man, I, I'm going to be way out of my depths. Like, like I'm not going to know who anybody is and you're going to feel like, Man, I, I don't know if I should watch this because it's a horrible point to like start off, and that's not true yeah. at all. Guess what, motherfucker? I don't know shit about Gintama. I followed it just fine. Yeah, you know, it's like they set us up. I'm like following the show. Like I don't know any characters' names except for Gintama and Elizabeth. Yeah, and, yeah. <laughs> so Elizabeth is one of my favorite characters. Who's hell like, yeah? Who? So Gintama, I guess, was taught by some sort of like samurai dude and it was like it was him and two other two other buddies and a bunch of little, other little kids but yeah the three of them were like the main guys one of them is now like you know a bad guy one's gintama and the other one is still like he's I'm, a mystery guy he's like yeah. i'm a ronin i'm still gonna be like a fucking traveling swordsman or whatever and he has a in quotations like pet right like he's yeah. an alien yep but is very obviously just a man in like a big like Draped in a big blanket with it's big like eyes, a ghost duck. Yeah, because because every now and then we'll see like the like the wind take like the the fucking curtains off the bottom. And we'll yeah, just and see like legs. legs, like hairy man legs or whatever. Yeah, and his name's Elizabeth. Um, and oh my god, did it fucking look look absurd in the in the fucking live action? And, and oh my god, it. did I love it? Yeah, yeah. So some things about this show uh, or that the anime adapt well into the live action Mm -hmm. is that because it doesn't take itself seriously at all it's kind of meta yeah so it's able to make jokes about that so for like elizabeth they're like you clearly are just like a guy in a costume and like they're like talking this might work well in anime and manga but it sure doesn't fucking work in person i don't know what they're literally sitting there looking at him being like you just look a man like in a suit (laughs) like i don't know if we can sell this i'm like i don't know man it's like fucking cole warner brothers whatever yeah and and that also being said gintama is is also really meta just in general like the gintama is the deadpool of japan oh yeah without a doubt that that's a good that's a good uh analogy and so we i came into this movie knowing there's gonna be super meta stuff and there's things that i that i definitely like caught and there's stuff that like oh i get what they're doing but because i don't know the like the actual like content that they're talking from, yeah the pulling from i don't know what the joke there's is. a specific joke that's like hey man quit making like osaka references people don't get that shit only people from osaka get what you're talking about and i'm like yeah I'm like okay yeah but i Way appreciate it because i understand what they're going for I'm like oh yeah. they're hitting a niche market and that's not me and that's a bummer and that's fucking cool if they're though, like oh right? man don't say that joke only people from chico get it like oh fuck that's like, me. That's so funny. I fucking got it. Chico. Yeah. Halloween's crazy. That's it. <laughs> but yeah, back to back to like them introducing characters. Like they quickly introduce like the essentially uh like the police of the show who yeah. um are just kind of like a group of almost bumbling idiots. Yeah. They're um and they're all goofy. super absurd. And they quickly introduce like this is the leader. They call him Gorilla. He's kind of useless. Here's another character. He likes to eat mayonnaise and smoke cigarettes. Here's the last one. He's got a big old rocket launcher. All right, here we go. All right, we're good to go. And like that was in like, you know, we fucking meet his friend or whatever, who's Elizabeth's owner. And it's like, okay, cool. That's him too. You know? And he's like a really serious swordsman. Like he gets caught up in the, in the beginning of the, the anime. I mean the fucking, the live action. They're running, they're chasing down Gintama because they're all chasing down a beetle that they want to get or whatever. Yeah. And the guy sees it and he goes, oh no, Gintama's in trouble. I'm going to help him. He just beats the shit out of all these guys because he's super competent with the, you know, as a fighter. Yeah. But you're like, oh man, it's funny because he's so out of context. Like, oh yeah. He, like he doesn't belong in this world, you know? There's like this, such a goofy thing happening yeah. and then he's just like, super serious. Serious situation. Yeah. I have to protect my friend. Yeah. Yeah. This is also a world where like there's characters who are like, you know, leopard people or like duck people and you they're know, all just like weird ass alien type things yeah and some of the costumes are good and some of the costumes are really shit but because it's a live action adaptation of gintama you're like it's fine like it's totally there's fine a guy it works who's really like, well legitimately like walking down is like oh he's just like a man with like a duck head and i can see the holes for his eyes like the plastic you know and, and that's like, fucking funny it's fine it's that's totally all good. okay and they worked really hard on some of the costumes too. Yeah. They like, I mean, clearly they looked like they fit the context of this movie more than anything else, but they looked pretty good. Yeah. It was, it was cool. Um, I think that for a comedy like this, it's really hard to get into the details about why things work well. Yeah. So I, I think the best thing to do for all this is just to like kind of talk about the bits yeah, okay, that there well, were sure. that you really enjoyed. We'll talk about the bits real quick. Real quick, I just want to say what essentially the story is for this one is. Um, someone is killing fucking people with a sword. Yeah. Gintama is then 
uh, has to go find out where the sword is. Turns out the sword is half fucking sentient, and it's like trying to take over the world. Yeah. Guess what? Gintama comes through and saves the day. That's like the gist of like the story, right? Uh-huh. And that's like the, that's. But that's not why you're watching it. You're no. watching it for the funny parts. Yeah. Okay. Uh, but, but it's nice to have a story to like fall back oh, on yeah. when you're like, all right, we need it's to get some more jokes parts, in yeah. here, so we got to like progress the story a little bit. Okay. What bit did you like? Uh, there were a couple of things that I liked more than anything else. Uh, first off, this one was lesser, but I still loved it. Um. The mayonnaise guy, okay, who just like he fucking it was gnarly. You know, he's painting mayonnaise on trees trying to attract bugs, yeah, because he loves mayonnaise and he's like, bugs love mayonnaise, whatever. Um, and then it goes <laughs> to him like, and they're standing on a ship and whatnot. He's fucking eating a bowl of mayonnaise with, with chopsticks, chopsticks. Yeah. and I'm like, what the fuck? But then we get into the next little thing, which is. He lights his cigarette with a bottle of mayonnaise. Yeah, it's like a mayonnaise. Fucking, it's just like a mayonnaise with a little lighter that comes out the bottom of it. It's like, what? It looks so and it, it's just for a split second. And like, I missed it. And you're, like, you're like, I'm like, dude, go back. And I saw, I was like, what? A, why? Like, you know? <laughs> it was so unnecessary. Mm-hmm. And it's just that, it's that little thing where they're just like, we could fit in a tiny joke here. Let's do it. I always appreciate those tiny little things that they're like, even if people don't catch it, it's fucking there. It's hilarious. Cool. Okay. A, um, a, a bit that I really liked was there's a specific character who is a bad guy, right? Uh huh. And he's working for the bad guy, and he's the the master of some chick that has like a dueling pistols or whatever. Yeah, and they're catching the the girl that's a part of Gintama's like crew or whatever. Yeah, yeah. The and they have her chick. tied up, and like then they they're treating her really nicely. Uh-huh. And he has this recurring bit where like the girl's like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "He's like, you're just being nicer because you have a low lead complex, you know, which is essentially uh-huh. like a fetish for like little girls, little girls." And he goes like, "He was like, I don't have a low lead complex or whatever." I'm a feminist. Like I can't do it. Like he's like his <laughs> yeah. his, his, his his like his go to is like I can't be. I'm a feminist. You know. He explains why he's a feminist, and he also does this weird thing where he'll be like he'll be saying stuff, uh-huh. and then he kind of stops and he just goes, uh, which is my favorite uh, thing. Like he, he like it's he, so he just makes these. He exaggerates like his mouth movements, and he, it's like he's <laughs> stammering for no apparent reason. He, he makes these really yeah, but she's okay, right? Yeah, like just like whoa. There's just this unsettling noises. I was like, what is he doing? And it's just like it's so fucking weird looking. Every time he did it, he just caught me off guard. I was fucking. He was a great character. Like there's there's a bit where like him and the like Gintama's like sidekick are, are fighting yeah. with swords and yeah. the sidekick's super scared and like i was like he's really ready to fight this guy and the guy goes okay here i go and like he just sticks his butt out and like he come like like he comes down and he just starts like jumping really slowly like hopping tiny he's like, <laughs> like, he's like what are you doing he's like he's like what this is this is how i fight like it's just like this is my fighting this is style. my fighting style or whatever and he gets slashed in the butt and it's like oh man what a what a good piece of just like like physical comedy like, yeah like it was it wasn't anything too elaborate it's just the way the build up to see this yeah. man fight and it was like wow he's super it, incompetent it felt pretty like monty python yeah in a way and i'm not a fan of monty python but i like this yeah yeah it was yeah. it was good they had some like really funny bits here and there and what's the bit you liked i was gonna mention what's the bit you liked? um i stole it sorry i like that one too much <laughs> no, no no you're all good uh i i don't know there was just so many different enjoyable things i i particularly like the police yeah um the way that they all were stupid but they're like really serious Mm -hmm. getting together like we gotta have this plan i was just getting a kick out of that the whole time um i I don't really like just getting into different characters and whatnot I don't really like the drive of the villainous characters yeah. at all. They're pretty, it's pretty lame, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's I essentially like being it, evil for the sake of being evil, yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was kind of hard to, uh, to appreciate that. So there weren't many jokes that came out of that. Yeah. Which I think was one of the most difficult things mm-hmm. is where you're just like weird little joke after weird little joke. And then we have the bad guys and they don't really do much. Mm-hmm. And then there's also, you know, the, the side character that's like super serious and whatnot. Yeah. He's funny as a break from everything else, yeah, yeah. but he's also there for the serious parts. Yeah. And it's just like, I don't know. It feels weird whenever it gets serious, but there's no like emotional value tied to anything. Yeah. There's, yeah. I would say a bit, some bits that I liked. Yeah. 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 Okay. So there's the, uh, there's the bit where fuck. And he's like, oh, there's a bit, there's a bit where he meets the, like the, uh, the guy that hires him to find the sword. Yeah. Who's a swordsmith or whatever. And the swordsmith just yells really loud. Screams all the time. And, and the reason he's screaming is because I think he's just been 
working as a swordsmith for so long, like the clacking noise of like him hitting metal against steel, you know, uh-huh. it just fucked up his ears. So he just yells. So again, Tama will be like talking to him and he'll just keep yelling his conversation. He goes like, are you fucking listening to me? You know? And, uh, he's just like throughout the entire fucking you know movie. He just, he's just so loud. He's, he's just screaming. He's just, ah, just yelling his shit. Um, there's also, you know, anything with Elizabeth looks great. There's yeah. this bit where she, where she cries because she can't have sweet stuff like strawberry flavored milk. There's this bit where like, uh, he gets pushed down and like grip, shaken by the collar and like the mouth opens and you see two eyes in there and just like, they're like fuck, glaring like, if you fucking eyes. touch me, I'll tear you apart or yeah. whatever. And it's like terrifying. Like, Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Um, you know, there's the bit where she'll hold up signs and stuff. Uh-huh. Um, fucking, she dies in quotations or whatever. It comes back at the very end. It's like, ah, oh, it's fucking funny. I also liked, um, like the, again, Thomas sidekick, there's this bit where he's trying to figure out how to get on a boat. Cause he's essentially useless, right? Yeah. He's a he's, moron. He's yeah. trying to get on the boat. And he, his first, his first thing is like, Oh, I'll just chum up with this guy. And it uh-huh. doesn't work. The guy's like, get out of here. You stupid kid. He's like, all right, I'll leave. And then he just dresses up kind of like a, you know, dock end. And he's just like, Someone's like, hey, who are you? And he goes like, dude, you know me. It's fucking, it's, it's me. me. Come on, man. Dude, and then they'll be me. like, Remember oh, me? yeah, it is you. Hey, man. Like, oh, okay, cool. And then like, he'll keep walking because he's like, oh, I just escaped through that one. And then another guy's like, hey, man, what, what are you doing here? He goes like, dude, come on, man. It's me. And like, oh, you're right. It is you. <laughs> it works twice in a row. <laughs> well, what I really like about that too is like, he looks super serious yeah, while yeah. he's walking. And then somebody stops and like, hey, what are you doing here? And then his expression totally changes. Like, it's slowly just like, man it's me. it's me and then by the end of it he's yeah. like ah yeah you know ah, <laughs> now I don't even worry about. and then like the second thing he leaves that person he he's goes like, back, back to, to being serious. serious yeah really fucking like he's good on a mission to, yeah you know? good and, shifts right um, there and that that guy also that that bit leads to a bit where he he comes to save the girl character or whatever this was hilarious oh, it was so good like he he's like like all the guys, are, they're all the people there to kill this girl character. They're going to kill her. And then he goes, ha. Ah. He's like, he essentially sh- shows up at the last second to save me. He's like, I'm here to save you. He's like, you don't know who I am. He's like, but I'm like, I'm her sidekick or whatever. Uh-huh. And he looks, I'm super, her sidekick. Like he looks bro, super cool, like ready to fucking like, like well, it's super serious. He has right? one of his arms like out of his sleeve yeah. and it's tucked into his The wig and Tom rocks yeah. or whatever. And then like, <laughs> look at, he's the like, okay, like you're here to save the day. And they're like, where's your, your army or where's your like, your posse to As help he's you. He's facing like thirty people, and then he like it dawns on him that he's like way out of his depth. He's just like looking around. He's like, yeah. oh, like wait, did you come here without like a plan he's or like, anything? He's like, wait, did you come by yourself? And he's like super embarrassed. And he's just like, yeah, well, I, it just it it all just kind of happened, and it's I just like, kind of. Oh yeah, well, I mean that's cool. Like you're just following, like that's yeah, hey, right and then, on, man. And then there's a bit where like he's so scared, like he he, he puts his like his kimono on, <laughs> like he, he takes his hand and puts it through the sleeve back, and then he like he has a little button and he clips his kimono in, and the the guy that does that weird noise, you know, he's just yeah. like, did you did you just clip? Do you have a button on your kimono? That's so <laughs> embarrassing. Do you think we, you did? Do you think we we're gonna hear that or see that? Like I heard the click, and he's just like fiddling <laughs> around with it. Still, he doesn't know what to do. He's just fucking around with that, the little button. Man, that, that was fucking great. That bit, fucking oh, it fucking got me. Honestly, like the bits that were like the least important were the bits with Gintama. Like everybody else yeah. was like super, like like fucking. But, Way funnier than But him. then again, I, I, Gintama didn't do the like funny joke or whatever for this part, but uh, he had been wounded and he woke up from like resting or whatever. Yeah. And then there was a girl there taking care of him. Yeah, which is like, which is her assistant, his assistant's sister. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and she's just like, here, I'll read you some Dragon Ball Z and like picks oh up. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. He picks up the fucking manga and she goes to like one of the fight scenes at the end and she's just reading it. She's like, whoa, bang, pow, God. Yeah. She's just like making all these sound effects. <laughs> and then he goes and like, like, oh, oh is my it done? God. That's like, God. He goes like, oh my God, you find <laughs> oh, me. So startling. <laughs> It's so fucking great. She's doing the sound effects, and like I think she says one line at some point. Yeah. Like, no, that's I, goes, I've like, had enough. Goes, it's okay, man. It's so good. He, and then like again, like again, Tom was super meta. So there's a bit where like he goes to to some dude to help him out. And he's like he finds the mech. He's like can't get the mech. It's some reference yeah. to something. He's like here, eat this. And he gives him like he gives him like uh, a devil fruit from like fucking uh, one piece. One piece is like gives him a straw hat. And then eventually Nausicaa in the Valley of the Wind shows up. He's like, hey, here's like a glider, right? And like, you know what? I couldn't get you that mech, but like I asked the I, girl. And, and she said it's cool. And like the, the other side character are just like, is this okay? Are we going to get in trouble for this? Like they're like, you know, for yeah, using Nausicaa. Concerned, yeah. And then at one point he says, thank you, Nausicaa. And they bleep out Nausicaa. Like, yeah. And then and then like the girl's like, oh, fuck, are we in trouble? And the guy's just like, 
he mouths like it's cool it's cool like it's it's, it's like it's, it's okay don't worry about it in parentheses <laughs> yeah, like yeah. quietly it's okay it's okay so so many it's just like a lot of good bits and honestly something that i, I want to say special effects not that bad oh yeah no they they fit the context of the world yeah, really well there's there's bits where you see like there's better special effects and there's uh-huh. a, there's a pretty shitty explosion near the end but there's also like a lot of it goes in some of it goes into the dog which looks really good for yeah. whenever he's there um like the the fighting scenes the very last fighting scene i was a really huge fan of the main bad guy like he had the really shitty like tentacly effect but it's like yeah. it's okay it's like you it know it didn't matter whatever but the the fight between um gintama and like his former like comrade I'm like yeah. I really enjoyed it. Like it was actually like a really good fight, they and did um, some good stuff. And yeah, and, and that's something that surprised me when I watched the like the Gintama movie. I was like, you know what? This show is stupid, and this show like does have like a lot of absurd moments and absurd characters. But it has cool stuff too. Yeah, but yeah. there's there's some good there's some like fucking depth to it. He's not a totally incompetent, you know, swordsman. Like mm-hmm. they do call him like the stupidest swordsman in the universe. Yeah, but he is still the white demon, and he can still kick ass. Um, all that being said. I really like this movie. I, I super enjoyed it. Uh, I don't think, um, like, I don't think like everybody would love it, but it just gave me super huge, like, Kung Fu Hustle vibes, you know? Yeah. It, Which is it, a movie felt, I really liked growing up. It felt a lot like those old school, uh, just fun ass, like, like, we don't care, esque, yeah, comedy, like, yeah. The Kung Fu Kung Hustle, Fu movies. like, uh, you know, fucking what else, uh, you know, What's the one where the guy like the has, American one is a uh, Kung Pao and Kung the Pao, fist. yeah, 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 and the fist. So it's like so it was Shaolin super fun, yeah. Like I'm soccer, was, yeah, yeah Shaolin soccer. God, those are, in my yeah. opinion, I think are really fun flicks. They're not yeah. like serious. They're not going to win fucking awards or anything. No, but they're they are filled with charm and yeah. they know what they're trying to Absolutely. do and they do it. They're well. not trying to fool anybody. Like they're not trying to be like we're something we're not. They're like look, yeah. they know exactly what they are and they know know how to like how to fucking fucking deliver with what they're trying to yeah. make, make so yeah super liked it what do you think you liked it i had a pretty good time with it cool. um if i were to rank it it would oh man so it's here we tough. go is it is it better than it's not it's, better than a race it's better than mushishi it's definitely better than, better than full metal alchemist than, yes. than netflix one better than you raced the movie yeah better than anahana yeah okay better than another yes better than i am hero no we're gonna stop there it's right underneath i am hero cool okay so you're gonna put the gintama gintama movie gintama movie cool and um for me for me i mean that was that was my list but i mean the top of my list and your list are very similar yeah so they're pretty much he's also below below i am hero above anahana right yep okay yeah man um the thing about the Gintama movie is that it did, you know, you, you know, we do the live action garbage thing or whatever. Yeah. If it wasn't based on an anime, I would still watch this and be like, this is an entertaining movie. Oh yeah. That's, that's totally true. Yeah. That's what I feel like. I mean, it kind of bums me out that I like this so much because it makes me want to watch Gintama, but there's just so much. You're like, it's just right, so well, daunting, I mean, you know, it, it, maybe it's the summer of Gintama. No, this is, oh my God. <laughs> there's so many episodes of that thing. Yeah, maybe no, I'll watch the newest dude. season. Cause like, I heard somewhere people were saying it's a good place to start off, like to jump on, but I don't know if that's true. Um, I don't know. Only one way to find out. Thanks all I know for is finding out for us, Juan. Fucking loved uh, the Elizabeth bit. Uh, she's probably my favorite character, and then really fun. Yeah, him, Elizabeth, and then the the weird, uh, the weird feminist bad guy, the, like pervert villain. Was he was super funny. funny. Yeah, great, great actors. Honestly, like this is super. That's the thing. Everyone was really committed to their roles. Mm-hmm. This is yeah. This is something where like. You know the act, the, the level of acting in the Gintama like movie, like the the people who you know who were the actors were amazing actors. Yeah. the people who did the acting for Kakaguri were just shit actors, uh-huh. and that's not their fault. You know, they're pro- some of them are probably just starting their career, or some of them are pretty young. You know, because they got to fit maybe that there's role. really bad. Or they're just really bad. You know, yeah, yeah, at, yeah I mean, yeah. it has so many elements: writing, direction. But this Gintama um, one, yeah fucking killed it in my opinion great job and all the costumes really worked out that was the thing everyone looked okay in the world the people that looked weird were the villain but i think that he really fit like his role yeah i think that he was a convincing villain uh and then that side character dude who's like a super serious samurai he looked like normal at first but then later on he just felt like he was out of place yeah you're right i mean and that's for we're talking about like more main character because the background characters, a lot of them look like shit. But they're supposed to look I like mean, shit. Yeah, but they were looking like shit in the context of the world, and they worked perfect. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. No, I agree. Um, yeah, man, fucking solid. 
Out of, Pretty out fun. Of, what would you say out of 10? We didn't give the other one out of 10, but this yeah. is a movie out of 10. Uh, either a six or a six point five. Mm, I think I give it. I think I give it like a like a seven. In my opinion. I, I yeah, really that's fair. It. Yeah, cool, man. That's the show. I think so. Right? There's nothing else to talk about. No. Oh, there's something I want to talk about. <gasps> hey. So last week we did our, our episode about uh, Batman Ninja or Ninja Batman. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. We were so out of it, right? Like, oh, uh, that's pretty true. That was a pretty. I feel like I'm really at the end. We're like, this is a shit episode. Yeah. I. F- and I was feeling kind of sick at the end of that. Like I was just like, oh, I want to go home. I don't feel very good. Yeah. Um. I can't remember if we talked about one of my favorite parts of that movie. What was it? Did we talk about the Shadow Clone Jutsu? No. I don't oh, feel we did. fuck. Yeah. I forgot. It. Oh, it my God. That was so dumb. So, so here's here's a bonus a little episode for Batman. Same, I mean, Ninja Batman or Batman Ninja, whatever. So we were talking about how, like, they uh, they just took anime tropes and put them in. I yeah. was like, you know what? They can't be that bad, right? You know? And then there's they a... fucking did it, There's though. a fight with the Joker. The Joker stabs him and then throws Batman off the edge. And then he... Poof, Blows up to a puff of like bats, and I was like, "Oh my god, trip! That's the shadow clones you too." And then right behind, like the Joker is Batman. He's just like, "I've learned the way of the ninja." <laughs> yeah, no. And then he starts like they start fighting some more, and then he just keeps poofing away, like keeps keep turning to bats. And there's a point where he's like floating in the air, and like I'm like, "Oh my god, trip! This is this is it. They they can't fucking top this. It's impossible, right?" They did it. And he's floating, and there's bats around him, and you see his hands, and he's doing the the Naruto hand symbols, you know, like the fucking. And I was like, "Oh my god, no! They fucking did." it if it was a parody that might have been an okay movie no that honestly that saved the whole movie that fucking that was that was the one that that was the best like they could have they did stupid mechs they did fucking fucking j uh fucking jrpg shit and they did fucking weird animation and it's all garbage and they did the fucking naruto shadow clone jutsu and they did the hand symbols i'm like you know what that's it fucking 10 out of 10 Anyways, that's just something I want to get off my I'm, chest. I'm glad that you did. I feel it. like we didn't get to talk about it last time because I wish I, I remembered I what I was going to say about Kakegurui earlier. But like, <sighs> Sorry, oh, well, maybe we'll remember hey, and you'll talk matter. about it next week. Hey, that's a good idea. Yeah, like that. Yeah, cool, man. So that's the show. I, uh, we don't know what we're talking about next week. Uh, we'll figure it out though. Yeah, right. That you sounds fine. You anything? Yeah. Cool. No, nah, I don't got it. Nah, cool. So uh, nah, yeah. if you like our logo, hit up Aaron from TurvyTops.com. True. If you like our theme song, hit up Tom Nasser. He's yeah. Nasser and ASR. Trip, where can you find us? You could find us on Facebook. Look up the Instagram podcast. Th- same thing goes for Instagram. Look up the Instagram podcast. Hey, if you want to tweet at us, tweet at Instant Ramen Pod. Podcast fit. Oh, why don't you send us an email? Instant Ramen Podcast at gmail.com. I love those emails. I, I eat them up. I just eat emails. That's all I do now. Cool, man. So that's the show. Thanks for listening. Uh, this is Bad From Juan. I'll see you around from Chris. Hey, Trip, don't forget. Just add hot water. <laughs>